This is Ecclesiastes 12. And I'm going to start at 4. It says, And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostle elders, the great millstone who rule well, and salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, this is the brother Shatya from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you that I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. Once again, it's Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And this scripture was inspired by just right now scrolling through the uh, old YouTube feed. And uh, the first video that I saw that inspired this was on the uh, Silver Report Uncut. And as you can see by the title, it says 40% of U.S. opening halted or reverse mass layoffs accelerate for the second time restaurants close. All right, because if you uh, haven't been paying attention to the news, they're already talking about how uh, I believe it's Arizona, Texas, Florida, and there's another state. They're all going back to phase zero again. Okay, all these so-called states that opened up early, they're going back to phase zero, closing and shutting everything down again. Okay, and then the second one was uh, Lisa Cabrera entitled 17.6 million unemployed Americans may never return to their former jobs. Okay, and the, what was the next one that was on here? And there's this other video here. Half of America do not have a job. It says close to half of all the working age adults in the United States do not have a job right now. Now, uh, the last time I checked, the census of America was around... 350 million you know it's probably a little bit more but even if we do say it's 350 million you got to think that's 175 million people that are not working right now so this entire economy is running off the back and labor of half the country and you have to think this was before the boogeyman hit and what did they say 40 some million people uh, are unemployed and now it's getting so bad where now they're starting to lay off people from hospitals all right, and the reason why they're doing that is because when the boogeyman hit, you're talking about how they canceled many of the uh, elective surgeries. And for many of these hospitals, the bulk of their money does not come from the ER. It comes from surgeries and their uh, time spent on the floor after their surgery. That's the bulk of many of the profits that these hospitals make. But now since they canceled them, okay, and the majority of these hospitals were getting paid by the government due to the whole COVID thing, now they're saying, okay, well, we're going to shut down funding for COVID or we're not going to reimburse you as much, but you can't open up these elective surgeries. Now it's like they either have to cancel their uh, uh, matching their 401k or they have to just start laying people off. And this truly lets you know, and I've, I've talked for a little bit, but I say all that to say this. You know, this is truly a sign of the times that America is done. It is, is, it is officially done. Not only that, we're coming into a time where 
the traditional way of making money is greatly decreased. There are a few jobs that you can still do and make money, but the way the game is changing with AI and blockchain and all these other things, the normal way of going about doing things is completely done and it's not being taught in school. And this is another reason why many people are, how should I say this, uh, uh, falling behind in the times. And so we're going to go to uh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Let me pause it and I'll come right back. All right. This is Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand. And how is Babylon, a.k.a. modern day America, been a golden cup? Because it's been that place of prosperity. All right. For many years, this is the place where everybody flocked to to make a living. All right. To pursue that American dream. All right. Many people come over here to come to the schools to make money, become doctors. And once they make that money, they send a lot of money back home to their families. All right. And put their members on and they repeat the cycle. All right. Forming generations of wealth. And it says that may all the earth drunken the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed how for her take balm for her pain if so be she may be healed and what's one of the ways that america has fallen its financial system okay we list we just looked at those three videos and it's telling you the message behind those three videos they're telling you this job situation is not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. All right. The first one that dealt with the silver report uncut. All these things are going to happen because of this second wave. Many people did not survive, for well, lack of a better phrase, the first wave of the boogeyman. All right. Certain people couldn't get loans for their business. They didn't have a, 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 the type of place that they could do carry out or afford to make the type of adjustments that would uh, last through that three month period where everything was on lockdown. All right. There was a video I saw. I can't remember if it was by Greg Hodges on the I mean, not Greg, Hodge, Dave Hodge. Greg Hodges is the basketball player. Excuse me. Uh, Dave Hodges on the common sense show i want to say he did a video and it was said 85 percent of the small businesses are not going to come back and that was during the first wave so what's going to happen in the second wave all right you put that on top of the debt situation you know what the scripture says woe to them uh woe to them that uh laden themselves with thick clay I think that's in Amos, if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me on that. All right. And that thick clay is debt. America is heavily written in debt. And now you put this with it. Hey, th this place is done. There's no type of quantitative easing that can bring America out of this situation. As it said, OK, uh, what was it? Take bomb for her. Right. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, be she may be healed. Right. Meaning that. Is there anything that you can do to heal this deadly wound? No, there, there's nothing that man can physically do to bring America back to its former glory. OK, it's far America's, America's condition is terminal. It's far beyond the path, uh, uh, the, uh, how do you say, it's far beyond the means of help, okay? And it says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, 
for her judgment reacheth unto the heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Because right now it's the time of America's judgment. It's not time for, as uh, Cheeto Fest says, to make America great again. All right. The last thing America has to be great in is a great destruction. Because this place cannot come back. As the scripture says, he, I know it's in Job, uh, bounds past. I know it's in Job. Let me find it. Let me pause it real quick. Yep, it's in Job 14. It says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right? This is the time for bad uncle Esau and his kingdom and Babylon the snake, also known as America, it's time for it to just be done. Okay? And the thing that made America very great, besides its military might, was its financial structure. As I said before, it uh, this place has been a, uh, as they call it, the great melting pot, which everybody just flocked toward. This is the place that everybody sought for opportunity, the land of milk and honey. All right, but this place is soon going to be destroyed. Fulfilling the prophecy in Revelation, because once you can't make any money off this place anymore, folks are going to be sad because they're even though they hate America, the opportunity to make money is a lot better in their country. And that's why you have this uh, saying in Revelation. Uh, I forgot what chapter it is. Uh, mm, perfume of oh, one more time. I have to pause it again. One more time. I found it. It's in Revelation 18, uh, starting at 10. And this is why people are going to be. Uh, so mad when this place finally gets destroyed and it says in Ver Revelation 18 verse 10 standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city Babylon that mighty city for one hour is thy judgment come and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her all the people that came over here to make money who did business in America they're going to cry why? For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Right? This great land of opportunity is going to be destroyed. There's going to be no more making money in America. No more business in America because America is going to be destroyed. And it says, The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and of fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels uh, Yuri and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and of iron and marble and cinnamon and order, odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee and thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. And, alas, and saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls for one hour so great riches has come to naught and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off okay and there's more to it but you get the point all right and you can already sense this happening right now you got all these uh, Edomites out here 
talking about they remember the good old days. Well, the good old days are gone. It's time for America to be destroyed. And as I said before, one of the ways that the Lord is bringing this country down is this financial structure. Because it was the most, uh, uh, it was the best and most prosperous system at one time. As we just read in Revelations 18, that ran through the gambit of pretty much everything that made this country successful and how people made money over here and the thing is it's only going to get worse and if you're a man of the Lord hey this is a beautiful thing because when the Lord comes back hey we're, we're going to be doing it big so nonetheless I hope you all were edified and until next time we're going to say Shalom